who do we think God is? So I often get asked, who do I think God is? People ask me, do you think God is the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Do you think God is Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord? Do you think God is the Holy Spirit? Well, who do I think God is? I could give you a creed. I could even recite one for you. In fact, I could recite one for you in three languages. But that's not very edgy for a spoken word. And I like to think I'm a little edgy. So today, let me be a little edgy for you. Let me take you to the edge, to the edges, to the margins. And let me tell you who I think God is. I think he is Father. He is the first person. First privileges means many make him the first to be conceived. But my conception of him is what I first perceive. However, what I first perceive comes only through my lens and how I see my own Father. He is stoic. He is composed. He is mysterious. He is authority, holy and reverent, above and beyond. He is good. He is who he is. He is the judge, the head. He is stern, one with all things, the one that holds his composure. I imagine that the Father is farther than he is. He is a provider of everything, everything except his presence because he resides in his throne room. I bow when I am near, and in doing so only heighten his reverence and his mystery, always missing his face as my head tilts down in respect. Let me tell you who I think God is. He is Father, seen through my lens of 2,500 years of filial piety. Who do I think God is? Well, I think he is an Asian dad. Let me tell you who I think God is. I think she is spirit. She is the third person. Third privileges means she takes the back seat to the Father and the Son, but she doesn't mind because privileges, thrones and palaces are all too easy for her to penetrate with her essence, her soft touch, the soft-spoken breath of her words, and her elusive but oh-so-tender embrace that cuts through duality. She is God. She is wisdom. She drives us into the wilderness. She guides us if only we would listen. She is always present, one with all things, the one that hovered even when all things was not yet. She sits with us. She holds us, walks with us, even when walking is hard and meaningless. Let me tell you who I think God is. She is spirit, seen through my lens. She is the gentle nurturer, humbly whispering into the ears of the Father and the Son. Who do I think God is? Well, I think she's an Asian mum. Let me tell you who I think God is. I think he is son. He is the second person. Second privileges means nothing because second is as good as last in a world that elevates those who fight for the top. But the second is his identity. His place is to always be one step down from the first. He is friend. He is flesh. He is the vine. He is the bread of life. And he walked the earth with those who could not walk. He is obedient. He always takes his place. His position only comes second to the Father. He is God. He is the runner-up. He is second class. He is always with the least, the lost, and the last. He is the connection, one with all things, the one that joins us in tangible togetherness, touching, tickling, and teaching us today. He was born in a manger, excluded from his community, stuck in a world in between worlds. He holds the tensions of divisions and builds bridges between places and people who don't count the other as the same. He is the same, 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 but different. Let me tell you who I think God is through my lens, the lens I cannot see. Who do I think God is? I don't know, because I'm wondering, pondering, I'm stuck asking, what is my lens? Stuck asking, who do I think God is? I'm stuck asking, who am I to ask this question? Who am I to tell you anything? Who am I to tell you that I'm a little bit edgy? Who am I if I'm not at the edge? Who am I if I'm not at the margin? I'm stuck asking. Who am I? Tell me what you think. Tell me what we think. Who do we think God is?